Welcome, welcome to Tea Time with Ed, the not so famous podcast. Welcome to my first official podcast. Tried to do one before, failed. Uh, that was with Colin. We didn't really have good topics and I didn't have the right equipment. So now I'm trying to be more professional. And uh, one of the uh, podcasts that helped me decide to do this again was Logan Paul's Impulsive. Um, some of you may not like Logan Paul. I'm on the fence about him. I think he's kind of cool. But anyway, uh, so I decided to uh, interview people that weren't famous. I'm not famous. My guests are obviously not famous. So mm-hmm. play on words. The Not So Famous Podcast. Tea time event bed because I like tea. So welcome Colin Mola. That was a cheersing moment with our if teacups. You, if you can hear it. Tiny, tiny little teacups. What do you think of this tea, Colin? It's pretty good. Try it and tell I me. I did try it. It's uh, plain, but I like it. I don't know, I'm it's Tetley uh, okay. tea. If you like Tetley tea, then you'll love this uh, stuff. But if you don't like Tetley tea, then you'll like coffee. Go either. away. <laughs> go away, Who yeah. Who cares? Uh, hey, man, thanks for having me. I'm sorry your other podcast with me failed. Uh, I hope that wasn't because of me. No, it wasn't. But it, it probably it was, was. It was because I... Uh, you know what? I'll just go. You know, No, stay here. Okay. But no, the reason... The reason why is because I kind of had passions for my YouTube channel, and I still do have passions for my YouTube channel. It's just uh, I wasn't in the right mindset then, and I didn't know what I was doing. I've been done more research now and into microphones, into microphone stands, into everything. And uh, I feel like um, listening to Logan Paul and like also, uh, what's that guy that you listen to? Uh, Joe Rogan? S- Steven Crowder. Steven Crowder. I don't, him. Really, yeah. I don't really I've, listen to Joe Rogan. I've heard you... Uh, uh, listen to him, and then uh, mm-hmm. so and then I've listened to Nick Compton's one. He was on Jake Paul's um, podcast. But today, I would like to talk about uh, New Year's resolutions and everyone that's trying to go to the gym and fails. <laughs> and fails? Yeah, they oh, fail. Oh, you know, they go for like a day or two, and then they decide to like. I thought you were fail. talking about fails in general. No, they just go to the gym for like a day, and they're like, "Oh, I don't need this," and they go back to binge eating and watching Netflix and yeah, watching Bird Box. <laughs> Sounds. They should just make that their New Year's resolution. To watch Netflix and binge eat, yeah. Yeah, to get fatter, to gain a lot of weight, and uh, to not really get much done. That would be... You could do that. So... That would not be a hard goal to accomplish. That wouldn't, actually. That would be easy. And that's what you should do. Set yourself up for success. Stop trying to do all these hard goals. Do an easy one. Like, get a new (laughs) job. Get a better (laughs) job. Get more No, quit your job. Quit your job. now. Done. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I don't know. Resolution So what's your resolution then? Let's all right, that was a joke. That was all a joke. Uh, my New Year's resolution, uh, so I was telling you this earlier, that uh, uh, my family and I had a bunch of people over New Year's Eve and uh, to party with the kiddos, and uh, we set up this... Disclaimer, p- they did not get drunk. No. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> <the> kids? <laughs> <laughs> no one did. No one did. Uh, we, did get, we did get fat, though. Uh, ate a lot of good and food. And ugly. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, we did. Yeah, fat and ugly. So we set up this poster board, and uh, we had three questions in 2018, like what would you change or what would you, like regrets did you have or uh, something like that. I, I forget what all of them were. And then there was three questions for 2019, like what's uh, um, one, one thing you're looking forward to and what's like one word that you're going to focus on or think about for 2019. Like if you could, like kind of a one-word motto. That sounds cool, actually. T- yeah. I should, should try it. You should do it. You and Katie should just uh, sit down sometime this week and just think and pray about a good one-word motto. For I th- You each have your own uh, one word. And so uh, my one word is focus. Uh, and uh, the idea behind that is to... Uh, forward focus? No, I'm focus yeah, forward focus. Get a forward focus. Uh no, uh that would not be a Ford Focus. That's the dumbest car there is. Yeah, I really I, hate I don't Ford know, Focuses. I know nothing about cars, so you lost me there. Well, I don't know much about cars, and I don't know what it is about a Ford Focus. I just really don't like it. <laughs> Did you have one uh, at one point? No, no, I had a Ford Five Hundred. Oh, that's what. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome car. Really sad I got rid of that, but that little tiny blue one that was funny. That's that was not t- cool that one. one. No, that was the PT Cruiser. Okay, I called it the Cruiser. Creepy Loser. <laughs> creepy Loser. That's a funny name. That's yeah. actually pretty cool. But I liked. Uh, I didn't mind the PT Cruiser though. I like the car, but uh, it's a weird looking car. Anyway, so my one word is focus, and the idea is to focus on what matters and uh, to not focus on the pointless crap and uh, things that matter. God, family, uh, 
doing my ministry well and uh people uh one of the questions from 2018 was what would you change or what what did you regret or something i can't remember what the question was but change everything i did wrong <laughs> yeah my life no, I'm just yeah no my uh 2018 not it's not like a regret i don't like the word i don't really don't like the word regret or if i ever did apply that to my life i would be very uh selective did we lose it again? No, we, did, we didn't lose <laughs> it. I'm just looking at the <laughs> feed. No. Uh, yeah, we've been having issues earlier with our system, so we are trying this again. This is our 20th try. 20th this try. Th that's, that's just fine. kidding. No, just no kidding. it's probably like our second try. Second no, try. we didn't lose it. I'm just looking at the screen. Gotcha. So, so my regret from 2018 was, uh, or what would you change, was less Netflix. Uh Don't watch Netflix. I've thought about it, and uh, I've already changed my mind. I want to do more Netflix. Yeah, if I want to watch everything on Netflix. Everything. That's my New Year's resolution. Good one. <laughs> <Not>. <laughs> to get all the way through Netflix. <laughs> uh, just kidding. No, that's that's not a true thing. But I did watch a lot of Netflix, and I would probably change that. Uh, um, I've been trying to listen to podcasts that are more uh, family friendly, no. inspiring, or they offer something. They're not just people talking about pointless stuff, which I've I have listened to in. Uh, and those are easy, mindless. But so yeah, podcasts that matter. Kerry Newhoff has some good ones. Justin and I listen to in the office. Sometimes he listens to them way more than I do. Um, <clears throat> but there's some good Ben Shapiro, Stephen Crowder. They're pretty solid podcasts. And uh, impulsive by Logan Paul. No, he no, does a really good one actually. Uh, so. He actually doesn't. You're wrong. Yeah, he do no, he actually does Ed, like stop interviews, it. influence people like oh. social media influencers. And he interviewed one of my one of my childhood. Uh, What's um, what are they called? The childhood uh, TV actors, the um, Josh children. Peck from uh, um, Drake and Josh. I don't know if you ever saw that show. No. But uh, the twins? No, it's Drake and Josh is like uh, about. Aren't they twins? No, they're not twins. Oh. I mean that's Mary Kate and Ashley. Wait, the twins? About. No, I'm just kidding. So um, so yeah, he interviews them kind of people. If you know uh, about Drake and Josh, shout out to them. Um, but yeah, so. I've been listening to a load of him, and that's what's um, been influencing to me. But, nice. Um, so cool. explain a bit about yourself, Colin. Oh, explain a bit about myself. Yeah, Let's we didn't see. do that yet. We oh, all right. Uh, there's not much to know. Um, I'm a pretty simple guy. I uh, work at Freshwater Community Church, uh, worship pastor. My title's actually probably going to change to associate pastor. Uh, so you're going to take Jason's means. role? No, I'm no, just, no. Just he was executive. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Uh, we're not really yeah. sure because I don't just do worship. Uh, that's like half of what I do. I teach uh, very often and have a pretty firm role and um, just a, a, a good chunk of other things. Uh, and so, I don't know. The idea is you get a title that might suit my role that isn't just like you call someone a worship leader, you assume that that's all they do, right? Yeah, that's, that's, all they that's do, not yeah. all I do. In a big church, that might be so, but in a little church, like... Fresh water, not little. Whoa! A medium Whoa. size. A medium size. A tiny yeah, little church like fresh water. Just kidding. His eyes expression. Uh, I'm he's just kidding. Camera. No. no, but uh, <laughs> in a medium sized church like fresh water, good sized church for a town like uh, Popo, but uh, they don't need someone just for a certain area right yet. They need a bunch <coughs> of people for different areas. So that's how I see it in yeah. my mind. I don't know how you see it. Uh, I see it with my eyeballs. Yes. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, a bit about myself. Is there anything else worth knowing? The only things I think are worth knowing is uh, uh, I'm married with two kids. I think that's it. Yeah. I think that's all anyone really needs to know about me. Oh, and I play music. And he's a Christian. I play, I play <laughs> music. <laughs> well, I thought that was implied by me being a pastor. One of the prereqs, interestingly enough, uh, when you want to become a pastor, is you also have to believe in Jesus. Yes. <laughs> it's a pretty important part of being a pastor, <laughs> and uh, it just so happens that I do. Yes. Uh, oh, and he has a band called Barn on Fire. Oh, Can yeah, I'm in a band that? called Barn on Fire. Uh, there's not much to explain. We're just a few guys that uh, like playing really offensively loud music. Offensively <laughs> loud. And, uh, and uh, that's so fun. If, you, if your ears are offensive, Just headline Bells. Bells awesome. Brewery in KZU. Uh, Did you get a good turnout there? I didn't come because yeah, I was uh, sick. But it's a small venue. <clears throat> Tops out at like 380 something. That's cool. And we had 250. That's cool. December 22nd, 2018. That the weather was good, but I did not expect that good of a crowd, which is... You thought, like, one person would come, your wife? 
Okay, that's good. Not even her. No, we had a good turnout. It was it was a lot of fun. Uh, we had a few guest musicians play with us, which was really fun. Jerry's wife, Tracy Singh. I saw some pictures awesome. and videos that Tim Bolson did, didn't he? Yeah, he like recorded the whole he, thing. He live. told me. He actually told me that he stood there for an hour with his phone up, and he had a hard time after that. Well, un- yeah, until his and his phone died too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's a lot better things to record on your phone than us, Tim. But I appreciate that. Tim, we love y'all. And thanks for coming. No, so that was fun. Barnum Fire, married, two kids, Kelvin and Braylon. Love, love my family. I consider myself to be a family and man. And he doesn't like pop music. Oh, I hate pop music so much. I just hate I don't it. like it either. I've grown to not it's like disgusting, it. disgusting, with you. boring, shallow. Yeah. It's just not enjoyable so his favorite at artist all. is Justin Bieber. Just Down you know. with Bruno Mars. What? His favorite, his favorite artist is Justin Bieber. No, I'm just, I'm just, right, I'm just I'll kidding. see you guys later. Okay, see you, Colin. Let's see you next week. No, Bye. <laughs> just kidding. Just so kidding. Uh, back to New Year's resolution. Oh, yeah. We've uh, got off it's topic a new year. like usual. What year is it again? 2000, I don't know, 2019? Yeah, just let's kidding. go with that. We got a load of jokes today. Yeah, yeah, 2019. So you um, said you said your New Year's resolution was to not to have Netflix. Uh, well, that's Netflix. No, I didn't say that. I No, I did not say that about 2019. I said that about 2018. 18, not to have, uh, yeah. I don't care about 2019. I just wish I'd have watched less Netflix in 2018. Oh, that's what it was. But in yeah. 2019, I don't care. I'll watch more Netflix. <laughs> yeah. And I'll just regret it next year. <laughs> like always, right? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Eat too much food, uh, you regret it next year. Less Netflix. And uh, I said this to you earlier, too. The standard um, get physically healthier. Uh, everyone uh, tries that and yeah. everyone fails, like I just said at the beginning. Yeah. Everyone tries and fails. It's uh, It's worth the try. It goes like this. So they go to the gym and they say, how much is the membership? Go to the membership for a week mm-hmm. and then cancel the next week yeah. and sit on the couch eating yep. potato chips mm-hmm. and getting fatter oh, yeah. and uh, watching Netflix mm. or whatever else is on, playing video games, whatever they do these days. They should just make that the resolution. Play more Fortnite. No, I'm just kidding. Fortnite is the worst game. If you haven't played it, then don't. But yeah. I haven't played it. It's a really, a really, really bad version of like uh, Call of Duty, but terrible everyone's gonna hate me now because everyone loves this game every millennial and what is uh why is it called fortnite i have no clue i just know it's because really isn't that and bad. i downloaded it and i don't like it a fortnite is two weeks yes in england yes and uh and i really want to know why that's two weeks there's I probably some just, dumb historical reason understand. that that's called that like anyway. s- okay, yeah, anyway, what uh, New Year's resolutions. Yeah, I'm going to wait till 2020 to make New Year's resolutions. I'll wait till I die to make New Year's. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so what is your actual New Year's resolution? Okay, well, I, I mentioned this earlier. It's yeah, say I, it again in well, case so tuned in. Or case getting just... physically healthier, uh, not necessarily weight loss, not necessarily, uh, I guess that would be the only misconception because I think a lot of people just focus on losing weight. I actually don't really care about that. I just want to get healthier. Which I'm sure will involve losing weight. Yeah, I want to do that too. I'm not like uh, way overweight by any means, uh, but uh, I'm out of breath when I hit the top of the stairs. I want that to go. That's an issue. I want that to go away. Yeah. So. And so yeah, your little audio booth is in your attic, and uh, that's not cool, man. It isn't cool, actually. Is no, actually, I like this. I no, I like this. You should call it the creepy attic stories or something. Maybe you should start one call it the creepy attic stories. You need to get this on video. I should get a video doing, sometime. You need to start doing video podcasts. And video, no, because then, then uh, people Troy will come on and say, hey, get him out the attic, get him out the, uh, uh, save his soul. No, I'm just kidding. Shout out to you, Troy. We love you. And, uh, no, we don't. No. So what were you telling me? Something about Justin oh. doing P90X or W, whatever it's called. Oh, yeah. Know. Explain that uh, to me. P90X. Remember that from 20 years ago? Uh, Justin just... Uh, I think he's doing that. Is that that thing that can kill you? Like, if you do it too much, it can, like, make you... Hurt. It's what? It's really bad for you if you do it too far. Do it all the time, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Apparently, it might be really bad for you. That's what uh, I heard. Okay. Where did you hear that? Where did you hear that working out for you is bad? No, not working out, but the P90X thing, because oh. it's so insane that it, like... Uh, it's not that insane. It's a very tame... It's just long. I don't think I can carve out an hour and a half of my day... I don't know. Maybe I should. I don't want to. Uh, no one wants to. But well, the should. videos are like an hour long. Workout is Wait, just two. You watch them on YouTube or something. Uh, no, no, I don't think YouTube would allow that. 
copyright stuff. But I think he got the DVDs. Started he started it Monday, and so he's gonna uh, uh, get ripped. So by the end of the week, you'll be sitting in a wheelchair. Yeah. Stuff is getting. I actually am very curious to know how he's doing already with that. Yeah, because I actually uh, saw on YouTube my favorite, one of my favorite YouTubers, McJuggernuggets, uh, a few months back did P90X, and he uh, did it like on his video and had this other guy who was overweight do it. That's his cameraman, and that's I've heard of it before, but that's the first time I actually physically saw someone doing it. Because I thought it was like one of these as seen on TV jokes, you know, that no one ever does, but maybe the people do it. Just as a testimony too, I guess. Yeah, I've always uh, interest in weightlifting or muscular focused workouts which I don't know if that's right but I've been lifting I don't weights, like actually. it I don't like doing it uh, I still got, I've gotten in a routine before where I've have kind of enjoyed it but I don't typically gravitate towards those types of workouts I've liked uh, Insanity or T25 I think is what it's called the Sean T and those are like what I like about those is they're shorter they're like anywhere from 20 to 40 minutes and uh, and so that's like my sweet spot. If I could get that going in my life again, that would be. Yeah, I, I do. Uh, I do like a work. I go to Planet Fitness with my wife because she wants to uh, lose weight. This podcast brought to you by Planet Fitness. Planet, I wish not sponsored, guys. <laughs> yeah, not sponsored. But no, um, basically, I go to the gym and I'm not trying to like get like um no uh, Brad Shaw's kind of size. He's the uh, fourth time world's strongest man, um. In the U.S. actually, and Who's I, that? Uh, Brad Shaw, I think he's called Brad Shaw or something like that. Oh. And he basically, um, I don't want to be like him, but what I'm doing is I'm trying to get strong enough so I can lift <coughs> stuff at work more and I can do f- be physically fit. I'm not trying to be ripped out. I go to the gym and I do like maybe like five, uh, five anywhere from five to twenty minutes of uh, arms, and then I do like uh, five to ten minutes on the treadmill just to keep physically fit and keep my heart racing. Because I heard if you don't keep your heart racing, you could. One, you could die early, and two, I heard that it's, like, really unhealthy for you to be living that way. Just, like, sitting on the couch is not going to help you, so. Yeah, uh, I disagree. I think sitting on the couch is awesome. Yeah, really awesome when you want to be a bum. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So, uh, back to the New Year's resolution, you. Uh, all I, yeah, so just uh, getting healthier. Um, and... Uh, and I, I, that goes along with my word for the year, focus. I think uh, focusing on better health, focusing on uh, my relationship with Jesus and uh, what that requires of me uh, further in my all my relationships, everything I do, everything I say. Um, and uh, focusing on um, my wife, focusing on my kids, and aware of the opportunities I have to do good in the world. And so... Uh, but it, all of that, like anything you want to do, um, if you want to do something that, uh, if you want to accomplish anything, it takes focus. That's uh, really true, actually. You, you don't just like, it doesn't just, rarely, I'm sure there's cases it happens, but rarely do you ever accomplish anything or do anything that's worth doing or do anything that's uh, productive or valuable or whatever. Well, unless you don't you're do like, without uh, focus. Well, unless you're like... Uh, famous and you can and you've already done that before and then you can like work uh, like work your way into that you know you get like uh mm-hmm. you get famous and then you can i don't know how to explain this but you get famous and then things just fall in your lap but we're well because you're rich we're talking about the everyday person yeah. not like the like, yeah and yeah i'd say famous. even when you're famous like let's just say uh, any famous person with the exception of i'm sure a handful of random people or people who have inherited fame but like for the person who is accomplishing their fame, they didn't just inherit it. Uh, you know, you hear a lot of those stories of people who, you know, were brought up through tough times, whatever. Um, but to get out of it, to to get past it, to rise above it, anything, whatever, it takes a lot of focus. Just like almost everything in life.